The weight of an egg for a certain type of quail has a normal distribution of a mean of 11.65 grams and a standard deviation of 0 0.80 grams. What is the probability that an egg weighs less than 12 grams? So yeah, you have mean is 11.65. and standard deviation of 0 0.80 and you want to find the probability that the weight of the egg is less than 12 grams so this is 12 grams here so you want to find this area so here the lower let me write it out so the lower would be 0 your upper would be 11.65 and your standard deviation is going to be 0 0.8 and your mu which is mean is 11 uh, sorry upper would not be 11.65 upper would be 12 and mu is 11.65 so let us use the calculator so menu go to stats distribution normal NCD lower I'll enter 0 and upper I'll enter 12 standard deviation is 0 0.8 and standard mu is 11.65 and the answer is 0 0.6691 so the probability is 0 0.6691 okay and that's all what's the probability that the egg weighs between 11 and 12 grams so again draw a normal curve this mu is 11.65 standard deviation of 0 point it's always good to draw this curves so 11 would be here 11 grams is here and 12 grams is here so you want to find between these two intervals so again quickly your lower is 11 up sorry delete 11 upper is 12 the rest is remaining the same so it is 0 0.4609 I will round it in 4 dp so always be careful in rounding 0 0.46409 in four decimal places. Okay, next question. The length of leaf uh, of a tree are normally distributed with a mean of 14 centimeters and standard deviation of 4 centimeters. 65% of the leaves are less than a certain length. Find this length. Okay, now this is a question of inverse normal. So you got the mean and the standard deviation and they have given you the probability. Okay, so the mu is 14 centimeters and standard deviation is 4 centimeters. So now here is where you have to stop and think. 65% of the leaves are less than a certain length. So what does that mean? So I know this area, this much area is 50%. I know this area is 50% because I know 50% of the leaves are less than 14 centimeters. But here they they're, yeah, they're saying 65% of the leaves are less than a certain length. That means that length has to be greater than the mean. Because, I'll say it again, 50% of the leaves are less than mean or less than 14 centimeters I know because the mean is given to be 14 centimeters so whatever that length is should be to the right of mean okay so I'll say whatever that X I don't know how to find that X this area they are giving to giving us to be 65 or this is called sorry uh, let me go up uh, okay, so this area, this area, this is the area, this blue area is 0 
So you have to do inverse normal on your, norm on your calculator. So I'll write this out so that you remember. So go, for, go to inverse normal, inverse normal on your calculator. And you have to enter the area. Now on your calculator you can enter the left area, the right area or the center area. So here the area is to the left of. So make sure that you're entering the correct area for the correct uh, uh, correct region. It can be the left. So if you are entering, this is left area, which is 0.65. So if this is 0.65, you can say this area is going to be how much? This area is called the right area, which is 0.35. Because the total probability is 1. So the left area, in this case, is going to be 0 0.65 and your standard deviation is 4 and your mu is 14 centimeters. So let's go, so first go to no, uh, stats, uh, you go out of it, so distribution, normal and inverse normal. So can you see the left tail, they're asking you what tail do you want, do you want the left tail area or the right tail? So the left tail area is 0 0.65 The mu is, four, sorry, standard deviation is 4 and mean is 14. And go enter, the answer that calculator gives is the mean, which is 15.54 centimeters. So you can say uh, the answer is 15.54 of 5 centimeters. So let's say 15.5 centimeters in 1 dp. So what does this mean? that 65% of the leaves 65% of the leaves are less than 15.5 centimeters okay let's look at one more question 20% of the leaves are longer than what length okay now again this is a normal inverse normal question so the main thing here is to decide the x value will will it come to the right or left of mean so mu is one sorry 14 centimeters and standard deviation is 4 centimeters and this is where your reading skill is tested 20% of the leaves are longer than what length so we know this area this much to the left is 50% and this area is is also 50%. So the question is 20% of the leaves are longer than, so where would that uh, length come? Would it come to the left or right? Or you can say 20% of the leaves are more than some length. So you can pause this video and try to tell decide whether it's come, it's going to be the left or right. Okay, so it will be to the right. So this is x and this is 20 percent. 20 percent of the leaves are more or longer than this length so so this is 0 0.2 in terms of area this is 0 0.2 so the left area in this case if you want to enter the left area if this is 0 0.2 this is going to be 0 0.8 if you don't want to change the settings this is 0 0.8 you got the mean and standard deviation. So go to inverse normal. The left area is 0 0.8. The mean and standard deviations are the same. And your answer should be make sense. The answer should be more than 14. So it is 17.4 centimeter in 4 dp. Sorry, 1 dp. So you can say 17.4 centimeters. So in other words, you can say 20% of the leaves are longer than 17.4 centimeters. Okay, I'll do this question in the next video.